With the wreckage of the old DCEU firmly in the rear view mirror, following all the disastrous flops they had in 2023, there are some fans that are hopeful James Gunn can turn things around. That his DCU, including Superman Legacy, is going to be the thing that DC needs to revitalize the brand and that it's going to be well received. At this point, all we really have are some of the castings, including for Superman, including for Lois Lane, and for a wide variety of different heroes that appear in the movie. But in terms of what the story is going to be about, how Superman's going to be depicted, that still remains in question. And now we're hearing from someone who nearly got the role as Lois Lane about what you can expect, and already people are starting to get concerned. Superman Legacy finalist Phoebe Dinovore on almost landing Lois Lane role, quote, she saves Superman. Now, certainly, Lois Lane is not some pushover. Lois Lane is a very strong character, a character who's very smart and capable and things like that. But at the same time, Lois Lane gets saved multiple times by Superman. Has she saved him before? A hundred percent. But in this day and age, when you start to hear quotes thrown around like, she saves Superman. And, you know, things like this. Superman Legacy Lois Lane casting finalist on Heroine's Role. She's the brains and she's actually the fearless one. It really starts to make you wonder, what is James Gunn going to do with this? Let's get into this interview. In a tease that's unlikely to be taken well by any fan hoping for a cinematic return to form for Big Blue, according to actress Phoebe DeNavore's firsthand experience with the film's script, Superman Legacy will flip the script by having Lois Lane be the one who saves Superman. Now, again, have we seen certain moments where she absolutely is instrumental in saving Superman? Yes, of course. There's been moments throughout comic book history, even cinematic history. We've seen moments like that. But Superman saving Lois Lane is something we've seen happen over and over and over and over again in every single iteration. It's something that basically needs to happen, right, for that dynamic to exist. However, it might not happen in James Gunn's iteration. Dinovar, perhaps best known for her roles as Daphne Batson in Netflix Bridgerton and blah, blah, blah. Here's her other things. She gave an interview to Variety. Amidst the discussions primarily centered on our new film Fair Play, Dinovar was eventually asked by the outlet's Angelique Johnson on how she felt about losing the chance to portray Lois Lane, a role for which she was briefly in the final contender for before it ultimately went to Rachel Brosnahan. In turn, the actress recalled, it was a whirlwind and then I realized it was over but it was great. Recalling the intrepid reporter's portrayal within Gunn's script, the actress affirmed she found Lois's appeal to be the fact that she saves Superman. She's the brains. She's actually the fearless one. Now, uh, that, that's all we get. Just that line from somebody who was in the final contention to play Lois Lane for James Gunn before he went with David Corrin Sweat and Rachel Brosnahan. Now, so far with the castings, I've liked almost all the castings that have come out. We don't really know what it's going to be like. And certainly, Lois Lane, very strong and capable person. No one's denying that. But if that's what she got out of the script, that she saved Superman, she's the fearless one, she's the brain, she's everything, she's this, 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 and that going to be some people that don't like to hear that right off the bat and people already wondered if Superman is going to be cucked in James Gunn's version. I think just a couple lines by an actress who's talking about how much she loved Lois Lane. I think it's probably not enough to go off to render a verdict, but certainly in this day and age, what we've seen with superhero movies, what we've seen with the superhero genre, people are always going to be worried when they start to hear things that, hey, this character might be depicted a little bit differently than you expect. Not a good sign for a lot of fans. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.